Neo4j is one of the most popular databases for working with graph NoSQL database. It's optimal for carrying over relationships between nodes that are in a graph. In the other hand, we have relational database like MySQL, which are also very popular solutions for storing relational data. However, sometimes data that are stored in this kind of database would be better carried if they were also stored in one Neo4j database. For this purpose, in this video, we are going to show to you how you can take data that are here in relational database, like this one, in which we have data from actors, data from films, and the relationship between actor and films. And then, with relational database, we can carry and ask for the database all the actors that are in a certain film. However, can we do that also in the Neo4j database? In case we open that here, we can see the same kind of carry now performed with the Cypher carry language, performing the same kind of carry over the graph database. So let's see how to do that in this video. Hello everyone, my name is Rafael, and my goal here is to present for you the source code I have kindly prepared for you. The aim of the source code is to use the Neo4j database for reading, for carrying data that was originally stored in a MySQL database and present that for user using some kind of programming language. In the concrete example, we are going to use the Node.js programming language for reading data from a MySQL database, write that in the Neo4j database, and then perform the cipher carry directly there. So this, the tools you need to have installed for executing the same examples we are going to execute here are the MySQL database, the Neo4j database, and also the Node.js programming language. Now, I wish you success in your studies and let's go. Here is the source code that performs the integration between data that's originally stored in MySQL and move that to Neo4j and also carry data after that directly in Neo4j. So let's understand how this code is structured. Here we have so the require of the dependencies, the driver for connecting and reading and writing data in Neo4j, the model for connecting, reading data from MySQL, so credentials and, and information for creating connections with MySQL. Here, create, establishing the connection with Neo4j, and here we are going to start some definitions, like here defined a instruction that will delete all nodes and relationships from Neo4j. So every time we run this script, the database we have connected, in this case this one, will be empty and data are going to be inserted again, so avoiding duplicated data when running multiple times this e script. Here, just a function that encapsulates the instructions for executing a cipher instruction in Neo4j. So just four lines of code is encapsulated here. So every time we want to run a cipher operation, we just call that. It will make our code shorter. Now here's the main function, the process data, it's here defined and it just called once. So as you can see, we have eight lines of code that perform our logic. Now, starting the code. First, we delete all data we have previously stored in Neo4j. Then we are going to connect in MySQL database through this variable connection and selecting all the existing actors. And then for each existing actor, we are going to execute this create statement from Cypher. And then we create the node, actor node in Neo4j. After doing that with actors, we also do that with films. We select all films in the database 
And for each film we have selected, we create then a new node in Neo4j with the type film and the respective attributes. Now, for each film, we are going to carry the actors that has worked there by this instruction here. And for each actor that, ha that has worked in the film, we create then the relationship between the actor and the film. So at the end of this instruction here, we have all the films created as well, all the actors that work in the film with the relationship already established. And then in the end, we can perform one example for one specific film and then ask him to retrieve all documents, all nodes we have stored in the Neo4j that match this criteria and then present it here. Now, let's execute that and understanding the output. Now, for testing this source code, we have chosen one example. Here, the example was the film ID 2. Just for this film, we are going to perform from Node.js, gcipher carry, filtering by this film ID, and then the outputs we are going to present here. Remembering what are the expected results. They are defined here when we execute the carry directly on Neo4j. We expected to see these four actors here for this film with ID 2. That are exactly the same results when we perform that directly on MySQL. Now let's see that on Node.js client. So uh, here I have defined just for it executed this code three seconds after the execution of the e scripts. So after it has concluded, this code is going to run. Running that, we are going to be able to see the four actor entries here in the console. That's going to be printed by these specific statements here, in which for each node, we can print its labels that are related to the label actor or film, these labels here. And then the properties is going to present here, like first name, last name, and so on. So here we have first actor here defined, second actor here defined, third actor here defined, and then the fourth and last actor here defined. So if you are programming with Node.js, you can take the nodes returned from Neo4j directly in your own code. It's that for this video. I hope you have enjoyed that and thank you for watching.